Dear friends, good morning. Today is a historic occasion. Historic because in a single stroke, we are now the second largest cement manufacturer in the country. <laughs> historic because we now own two of the most iconic brands in the country. One that defines the grit of pre-independence India and another that defines the spirit of a confident India. Historic because this acquisition is India's largest ever inbound m and transactions in the infrastructures and material space and closed in a record time of a four months. <laughs> Historic, because our entry into this business is happening at a time when India is on the cusp of one of the greatest economic surge seen in the modern world. I am often asked the questions, why cement? Let me therefore talk about the rationale for us moving into this business. It start with our unshakable belief in the India story and our convictions that India will be a 25 to 30 trillion dollar economy by 2050. <laughs> the numbers are known to all of you. While India is the second largest producer of cement in the world, our per capita consumption is just 250 kilo compared to 1600 kilos of China. This is almost 7x headroom for growth. Furthermore, as several of the government's program gather momentum, the long-term average growth in cement demand is expected to be 1.2 to 1.5 times the GDP. We anticipate growing at twice these numbers. Therefore, as our nation's growth story unfolds with trillion dollar investment in infrastructure and housing, cement is an attractive adjacencies to our infrastructure business, especially the group sports and logistics business, green energy business, and the e-commerce platform being developed. Three, these adjacencies give us significant competitive advantage and puts us in a position to gain unmatched scale. I also believe that Adani Group's competencies in driving operational efficiencies is second to none and we will benefit from the learnings of our several acquisitions we have made over the past years. As a result, we expect significant margin expansion to become the most profitable cement manufacturer in the country. And we anticipate going from the current 70 million tons capacity to 140 million tons in the next five years. <laughs> Needless to say, a large part of my confidence 
comes from the combined strength of the leadership we are getting from ACC and Nambuja. Every action we take must align with the national priorities and pass through the lenses of this belief. The outcome of our value system and belief in a nation building are there for all to see. Let me elaborate. We are now the world largest solar power company and leading the greening of India. We are also leading the global green hydrogen story, having committed $70 billion to this business. We are the largest airport operators in the nations with a 25% of passenger traffic and a 40% of our air cargo. We are the largest ports and a logistic company in India with a 30% national market share. We are India's largest integrated energy player spanning generation, transmission, distributions, LNG, LPG, city gas and pipe gas distributions. Each of these business is growing at a double digit rates. We have won some of the largest road contracts in the country and are well on our way to become the largest player in these sectors. We had a grand IPO of Adani Wilmar, making us the highest valued FMCG company in the country. We have declared our path forward in multiple new sectors that include data centers, super apps, aerospace and defense, industrial clouds, metals and petrochemicals. Our finances are stronger than ever before and we continue to raise billions of dollars from international market and our strategic partners to further accelerate our growth. Our market cap now stand to at a $260 billion <laughs> having grown faster than any company ever in India. And of course, we are now the country's second largest cement manufacturer. <laughs> Dear friends, as I said at the start, the acquisition of Holcim's cement business in India is the largest ever inbound m and in the infrastructure and material space in India. This is one of the several large transactions we have done in recent times. Our common questions in the minds of the people is about Adani Group's growth philosophy. This philosophy emerges from our belief in the India's growth story and our belief in a nation building. It emerges from the belief that a new emerging world order, strength will come from a self-reliance or what many of us call Atma Nirvarta. It emerges from the belief that no nation in the world is as well placed as India is to capitalize in four factors that will accelerate our nation's development. Let me wrap up 
by talking about this. The first vector is our nation's demographic dividend that has put us on a track, becoming a $30 trillion economy by 2050. India's median age will be just 30, 38 years, even in 2050. This will be backed by the second vector, the growth of our nation's middle class. India's populations in 2050 will be about 1.6 billion. The world will never again see a middle class as large as the one India will have. The growth of this middle class will drive an unprecedented surge in demand and its consumptions. The third vector is the global drive for sustainability. Renewable power will drive our national green industrial revolutions that is just being initiated. This will also be enabled by decentralized generation and distribution which will be transformative, especially for the rural populations. Decentralized power gives India the options to accelerate micro-sizing of everything. It enables micro-manufacturing, micro-agriculture, micro-water, micro-healthcare, micro-banking, micro-educations, everything that our nation's rural population needs. And finally, the fourth vector is digitizations. The combinations of our India's youth and the growth in our middle class will accelerate our nation's digital transformations to create our new opportunities. I believe the unmatched digital ecosystems India is creating will generate significant additional uplift on top of our anticipated 8% GDP growth rate. It will accelerate our journey towards the $30 trillion GDP target by 2050. All the best. Jahin.